I'm super excited about the new addition to our culinary line, the Petty Knife. All right, so when it came to designing this knife, what was important to me for what is essentially a, a utility knife is that it was that exactly. It's a little bit narrower um, and it's a, for more uh, working off the board, like if you're holding things and cutting or breaking down a chicken. So you're not necessarily chop, doing any rock chopping, but it's more like boning out a chicken and doing some more fiddly work. That's what this narrower tip allows you to do. It allows you to get into joints and work around corners. Um, and But at the same time, again, being a very versatile uh, little, basically a small slicing knife. So if you are, you know, cutting up fruit and vegetables or whatever you need, this is a really handy knife to have in the kitchen. So this style of utility knife is also commonly called a petty knife. Uh, a, pet a petty knife literally comes from the French language for petit, which means smaller. It's a, it's a small handy knife that you have in the kitchen for smaller tasks. We have the big chef's knife for large tasks large slicing tasks, breaking down large fruits and vegetables and all kinds of foods. You want the right tool for the job. A smaller knife is for the smaller tasks. Like the other knives in the MKC line, we're, you know, we're using G10 handles on this. Uh, Mareko did a really cool job of making this handle really flow into the rest of our line of knives. Uh, this is a real MKC look, kind of from the middle of this handle on back. Uh, this is a real Mareko Malmasi Malmasi fire art, fire arts uh, forged kind of look here on this on this blade. A lot of his knives have a have a really uh, distinct look, which I'm very excited about. And that look comes with form and function. Uh, our G10 handle scales that we're using um, they really are about durability, about the fact that you know this is going to be dishwasher safe. Though I still don't suggest you put it in a dishwasher. You can it can go in dish water. Um, it can, it it's, doesn't get really slick if it gets greasy or, or bloody. Um, and so the G10 is really made to hold up in all conditions, which is why we use it on our hunting knives and why we're using it in the kitchen. Um, the other thing that we have is a great sheath. Uh, this is really more of a slip of a cover over the edge. This blade just slides in here, locks into place, and then this snap goes over and snaps this blade in place. Um, what the reason that we did this uh, uh, sheath is we want you to be able to take these in your pack, in your hunting pack into camp, uh, pack this on the horses in your panniards, uh, throw it in your gear bag when you're headed to Alaska salmon fishing or bear hunting or going on a, on a, on a sheep hunt in, in Canada. The other really big advantage of the sheath is the fact that it protects you from your own knife in your drawer and also from other items in your drawer in your kitchen beating the edge of this knife up. That's really where we see a lot of damage to chef's knives is when these things are being slammed around back and forth in these junk drawers or, or drawers full of you know, measuring cups and spoons and all these ladles and everything just beating up a blade. It'll help preserve uh, some of the finish of this part of the blade uh, just by providing kind of a gap uh, for this thing to sit where it's not sliding around in that drawer. Um, so the petty knife uh, with a sheath all-purpose little blade for the kitchen and can head into hunting camp with you.